There is a story inside my grandmother about a thunderstorm in Damascus, how the storm pecked her way through the glass like an animal returning home. And before she dies, my grandmother tells me the story is about love. And when I say I don't understand how, she says if you wait long enough, all stories are. I am three years from the soil that made me, six years a wife, a decade from that rooftop in Jerusalem. And every morning a rain pecks its way through the window of my chest, and there is a story in my family about a woman who makes a necklace of her own teeth, wears it like a sky. There is a story about a woman who is every woman in my family. There is a story about a woman who is cursed with too much memory. And in Arabic, there is a word that means bury me, but also means I love you, so let me be the first to die. There is a story in my city about a mountain that stands on her toes to see the sea. And this is how I love you. Peak and yes, and half a mile away, so close I could swim there. But I'm too afraid of the horizon, and there is a story in the silence about how when you touch someone, sometimes you are touching their first summer on this earth, or the gap of their teeth, or the song stuck in their head. There is a story about how when love leaves, you should still say thank you. Thank you for having visited. There is a story about my grandmother, and it says, remember, a person can be bigger than a country. Remember, a person should be. It says, remember, in Arabic, we don't say love, or if we do, we mean wind, or my soul, or my eyes. There is a story in Beirut that I always forget to tell you, about how my cities they named their streets after occupiers, named their worship in English and French, and you see we are all trying to get what hurts us to love us, and in that way change the story. Instead of praising what is still here, instead of thanking what is sleeping against my shoulder in the middle of the night, instead of saying here is the marble countertop you chose, the nails you coaxed into the wall, instead of saying look how what is held up in our house is held up by your hands, there is a story inside August about women who wear their hair long because their men love it like that, love it dark and strong and undone. Women whose bodies rise like bread when touched, and what I'm trying to say is I like to think about you naked, so don't be shy. I like to think about what the sea must look like from up here, that view of blue and blue and high noon. There is a story and a beginning inside that story, and it goes like this. You can gather all the arrows you flung in this life and turn them into a ladder. You can live forever at the feet of your own heart, but first, there is a story inside us, and it says that of this earth you knew love, that it was no magic trick or ruse or mistake, that something in you woke to the wolf whistle of my name and moved towards that sound like it deserved it, that it deserved it, that it deserves it still, and in Arabic, we say you are my moon. We say, I carry you on the top of my head in Arabic. Sometimes, instead of love, we just say, my bones, my bones, my bones.